Now, today I want to talk to you a bit about uh, team or sports team growth. Now, I currently reside here in the UK and every single day I'm researching our, our industry here in the UK. And what I'm seeing is that every single week, every single day, there are new uh, sports teams, sports organizations uh, popping up, right? There's more and more uh, coaches who are starting either uh, private academies or private uh, coaching clubs in the area. This might be in soccer, this might be in tennis, this might be in basketball, this might be in cricket, etc. So no matter the sport, every single day, something I am no noticing is that there's more and more academies slash clubs growing. Now, what does that mean for the personal sports training industry? Right. What does it mean for you as the sports trainer? I believe are going to happen as more sports teams grow in each city, not just here in the UK, but around the world. So the first thing that's going to happen as more and more sports teams uh, appear in no matter what city you're in, what's going to happen is that's going to make sports more competitive. And when there's a lot of volume and a lot of traffic of people doing something, normally what tends to happen is it gets, it gets very competitive. Everyone wants to be better than everyone else because there's such a saturation of participants that everyone starts to be competitive against each other. Everyone wants to be the best. So for you as a sports uh, trainer, that's fantastic news because that means what's going to happen is essentially parents are going to start to invest in supplemental training for their child. As sports clubs get more and more competitive, parents are going to realize in order for my child to be different, in order to my child to advance at a quicker rate than everyone else, I need to find a trainer in order to specialize in a certain skill or technique so that my child can get an, an edge and an advantage over their teammates. Now that's the first thing. Now the second thing I'm seeing and, and I know will happen eventually, which is, which is fantastic for the sports industry in general, is that as more and more clubs and, and academies pop up, what they tend to do is they tend to bring new participants into the industry. So maybe kids that weren't part of any team before, as more and more clubs start to appear in them or within their area, this now gets parents to realize, you know what, in order for my child to get more active, in order for my child to get more healthy, in order for my child to, to maybe go to college and get a scholarship or to get into a pro soccer academy or to play at the professional level in whichever sport they are in, I need to be in a club. I need to be in an academy where they have links with professional organizations. So what's going to happen is parents who normally never took their, their kids to, to clubs or teams are going to start to now take their children to these sports club or academies. And then once the child is in, then what parents are going to do is they're going to realize, wow, do you know what? This is a competitive environment. And this goes back to my first point, which means that once the, the, the new participants are in, parents will start to realize if my child wants to progress at this, this club or, or on this team, we need to find some, some supplemental training in order for my child to, to continue to grow and advance and also to be recognized. So that means that 
these clubs or teams are now dragging kids or, or parents who normally weren't part of any sports uh, type of environment and they're bringing them into the industry which is great because that means now there's more exposure for parents who realize do you know what we we haven't experienced this before and now that we're in we realize you know what my child needs more personal attention my child needs more personal training so as more and more teams as more and more clubs more and more academies start to appear in your city in your in your town wherever you are in the world you're going to you're going to notice that more new participants start to take part in soccer in basketball in tennis in cricket in in baseball whatever sport you specialize in there's going to be more and more people participating especially now that we come out we're coming slowly out of this uh, two-year pandemic so i hope this video has helped this helps you if you have any questions about how to grow how to scale or even if you're watching this and you haven't started your your personal sports training business yet get in contact with me my email is make money coaching sports at gmail.com you can send me an email there or if you want to schedule a call with me my link is in the the description of this video you can book a free uh, 15 minute call with me we can get on a zoom call see where you are with your business see where you want to go and how we can work together if you are a good fit and get you to that next level okay thank you for watching see you in the next one